What a fight. All right, first question. Put your hand up, you have one? Okay. Mike Frankel, Cage Minds. For both of you, did the fight play out as you expected? Yeah, she's, she's a tough bitch. So <laughs> I knew she was going to be tough. I knew it was, she was going to be hard to put down. Um, I, yeah, I, I knew she was going to crack. I knew she hit hard. I talked to some old sparring partners of hers as well. And they said she cracks and she doesn't go down. <laughs> she's super tough. Uh, yeah, I knew I was in for a fight. Um, I did not take Christine lightly at all. I trained really hard and uh, I stayed focused this whole camp and I knew we were in for a dog fight and uh, it's just a shame it got stopped too early because I think we'll have both having fun in there. Thank you. Let's move to our next media question. Gabriel Padilla, Cage Minds. Congrats on a, bi on a big win, Christine. Uh, what happens next and uh, how are you feeling after this uh, fight tonight? I mean, I'm, I'm here for anybody, anytime. Um, I'm, I'm training my ass off. Uh, maybe a rematch, you know, I don't know what they want with her, but I do want to get that solidified win on her. I, I know I won, but I don't like the cut. Um, I don't know what's next. Whatever David and everybody else has for me, I'm, I'm ready to go at any time. All right, thank you for that answer. We have another question right over here. Uh, Kyle Mish from Mission Accomplished over here. Um, Christine, you said you were looking for somebody who's actually going to come forward and fight you, and you finally got it, right? How happy were you to actually get in there with somebody who was going to scrap, and the fight was stopped by a cut? Would you guys run this back if they if they? Uh, yeah, I would definitely. I would definitely run it back. Um, uh, yeah, I wanted I wanted to get in there with somebody who's going to scrap with me and be able to me be able to show that I'm not just a bully, you know, and um, that I, I can fight and I can take punches and I can come forward, I can get knocked down, I can get back up, you know, and, and she tested me in that way. All right, any more questions? Oh, we got one more up here. Here you go. Dan Cool, Combat Press. Um, both of you come into this game so mean and you just carry it out and now you're just like these nice cordial people like where does that come from <laughs> where does that come from there's a switch somewhere <laughs> you know i i get in my zone and i can't like her before the fight i don't want to punch somebody i like you know so i get in a certain zone and um i can't make friends with her before a fight because then i don't want to hurt my friend you know and then when we sign again to fight then i'm gonna have to hate her again you know so i, I just but it's after right now and I appreciate her as an athlete and I've always you know she's the reason when I I didn't even when they contacted me to do bare knuckle I was like no I didn't think it was real it was you know I thought it was underground I wasn't going to do it and then I knew Beck was in there and that's what made me want to do it so you know I respect her for that um, yeah, us fighters are actually nice people. <laughs> we don't look it in there. Um, obviously, we've got to keep a, we've got to stay focused. And yeah, I know she was going out there to hurt me, and I was going out there to hurt her. And you just got to stay focused and dialed in. But you know, there's one thing that's like an equalizer or a humbler, and that's getting punched in the face. And I, I've earned her respect, and she's earned my respect. So we're all love now until we get matched again. <laughs> but that is, what, it is what it is. <laughs> Great answer. All right, we got one more for the two of you. All right, this question for Christine. This is Antonio from MMA Holes. Uh, I know a lot of fans felt like you should have been headlining this card. Will we see you headlining the next card? And if so, where would you want it? Um, I have no idea, but that would be awesome. Um, I, anywhere. You know, I'm, I'm willing to go anywhere, fight anywhere, anytime. And um, I think that the guys that did headline it deserved it, and they put a lot into the sport overall. And I appreciate that and all the numbers they're bringing to Bear Knuckle. I, lo I love the sport. I want to see it grow. And however that happens, it does. All right. Thank you, ladies. Let's give up for these two warriors. What an amazing battle, man. Thank you so much. I think, I think we should do the rematch in Australia. Come down under. Uh -huh. See some kangaroos. <laughs> thank you very much, these two amazing warriors.